Hola, hola, hola. Comment allez-vous? Ciao, ciao. Ni hao. Everybody else, how are you guys going? Kani, Shai, how are you doing? Gusi, ciao. Ciao, Bella. How's it going? Beth, thank you so much for tuning in. Everybody else, come on, let's do a bit of a dance. Alrighty then, I'm excited. I don't know if you're as excited as I am because today marks the beginning of October as we actually know it. It's the second I know, but it's the first official day. Loretta, thank you so much for tuning in. Cam Price, you, my man, thank you so much. Everybody else that's around, Ray Rink! Oh, all hail, the Ray Rink is back in the house. And Charlie, Charlie, how you going, my man? We still need to catch up for that. Um, it's going to be frothy soon, all right? And you're going to be paying. <laughs> Thank you so much all for tuning in, guys. If this is your first time coming into the Lunch and Learn, I am uber, uber excited about this show today. You know why? I don't know, because you're here and we're here and everybody else is just around here. Barbara, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm hoping that you had a fantastic weekend. Steven Seddon, thank you so much, my man. And I saw your pictures when you went to the show. Good work, man. And Jack Tellman, thank you so much. All right. My name is Prosper Taruinga. If this is the first time you're actually tuning in, guys, um, yeah, and this is the Lunch and Learn. So every single day at 2 p.m. AEST, we just um, had one hour up within, I don't know how time works, time is an illusion anyway. All right, so every single day we sit around here for 30 minutes so that we can talk about how to make your business profitable and enjoyable. It is my belief. I strongly believe that every person that ventures and goes in to start their own business should be happy doing it, should be profitable, and should actually enjoy doing whatever they're doing. Christy, how are you going? Thank you so much. And um, Robert, uh, Robert says, I forgot about daylight savings. Yes, it started today. Nicole, thank you so much for tuning in. Yes, we are experiencing daylight services. And Christy, how's it going? I saw your weekend photos and your man was bowling. Mm, mm, mm. Honey, you scooped the hot one. All right. So like I was saying, guys, every business person that I want to work, um, you know, around, I really want you to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I think that is what my why is. And in the process, I also want to believe that every person that's creating a business online should actually create for and relate to the people that they're going to be demanding money off of. Angela, I'm still waiting to hear back from you, my love. Hope you're having a fantastic weekend. All right. So basically, this is what happens every um, business day. Monday to Friday, we hang around here and I teach a simple four step system that is designed to help coaches, consultants and service providers like yourself to actually market brand and scale your services so that you also have a business that's profitable and you actually enjoy working in it. So I essentially help small businesses like yours grow using digital marketing strategies. Okay. So Angela says, ha ha, hello, yes, you are my friend. Well, let me know. I'm, I'm on a mission to create and relate for the people that I'm working with and you might have a bit of value that we can add on to, you know, the arsenal. And Nicole, thank you so much for tuning in. All right. So like I was saying, I want to help you generate leads and I want to help you generate revenue. And we're basically working around the clock, working on PR, on your branding and helping you tell your story. All right. The, the one thing that's happening right now on the online space, there's a lot of noise. There's a lot of people vying for your attention and there is a lot of stuff that you have to do. But for you to be authentic, for you to actually stand out, you literally have to be larger than life. You literally have to stand out so that people can actually see who you are and what it is that you do. All right. So today I'm going to be letting you know all the things that I've sort of learned along the way of me creating this business that is now profitable and enjoyable. And I want to guarantee you and tell you one thing, guys, making money, doing what you value and using what you earn to live a bigger life is what all entrepreneurship is. All right. When you start making money, doing what you love and you actually are, you know, stipulating your values, you're creating and relating for the people that you really want to work with and you're actually earning money and living a better life. That is what entrepreneurship is all about. 
It's not about all the smokes and mirrors that we see, the hustle, hustle, hustle. You really, really, really got to create stuff that makes people realize who you are so that they want to relate with you and maybe purchase from you in the end. That is all there is. All right. So, you know, most of my students or some of the people that I hang around with, they ask me, how did I become so successful? First of all, I want to tell you it is a journey. All right. It is a, a way of life. And at the end of the day, all you really got to do is find out who you really want to serve and go out there and create for them. All right. I see Tim Alexander just, um, you know, uh, popped in. Most of the things that we are actually doing and we think are actually helping our businesses are not. Humans are creatures of habits. So if your habits and the things that you are doing in order for you to, to then get that lifestyle that you want, those cars or, or those holidays, if you're not doing that every single day, you're, you're making the process of you reaching your goals longer. All right. I'm going to tell you exactly what my experiences have been and what they have taught me in life. And I'll show you exactly how they're working within my business right now. Because every single thing that you do matters. Every experience that you've been through. Because in life, we're here to live, we're here to learn, and we're here to contribute. All right? So when you live a life, you are learning some mistakes, and you're also learning not to do those mistakes. And then you're going to contribute to the rest of humanity by being of service. That's when sometimes some people know I mean, what it is that they're doing and some people are actually living a life of their dreams. All right. And most of the things that we really are searching for, it's not going to be a hack. It's not going to be some shiny object. It's going to be you. What have you learned? What are you imparting on to others? That's where money is made in between. The rest of it is all squiggly. All right. So the best lessons, they all come from the experience that you're actually having within the real world. It's not going to be taken from a course. It's not going to be from a book or whatever it is. What you actually practically do go in and actually, you know, you know, you know, you know, put roll out your sleeves and actually put in the work. All right. OK. And Musaka, how's it going, man? And Nicole says, teach me how to do that. Well, I just love what I do. All right. So the lessons that we you have learned or the things that you have learned because your life story and your life experience. All right. Have more market value than the things that you think you're selling right now. All right. The people that you want to serve because everybody is trying to run away from a pain. Everyone is trying to run away from something, some sort of discomfort and what you have experienced and overcome is what other people are trying to, to, to go away from. All right. So every single experience that you've had, are you talking about that? Are you helping other people achieve what you have achieved in the process? All right. Because at the end of the day, we might say, I don't have stuff to post on social media or I don't know what to say on social media. Your story in, in and of itself is a lesson for somebody else. So today I'm going to show you, share with you the things that I have learned and the things that I have overcome to actually be here so that I'm consistent every single day for 30 minutes and we're talking and you know you can rely on me showing up. All right. And I know what I'm talking about. You know what? I've read it all. Every single book that I've read, every single chapter that I've opened within my library is a work in progress. But you've got to implement all the lessons that you've learned. All right. Charlie says, bingo, find that one thing. Great point. Everyone's story is unique. In your life story, I will show you something. I have a two year old girl. All right. And I always say this story for those people that are consistently watching me. All right. I taught her how to tie her own shoelaces. All right. I taught her how to tie her own shoelaces. What has that done for her? It has saved her a whole life of embarrassment. It has saved her a whole life of falling down. It has saved me a whole life of nagging and her crying all the time saying, Daddy, do it for me. But it only took me two seconds. 
to teach her how to tie her shoelaces. Now, can you imagine what you have already learned, what you already know that you can impart onto other people so that they too can be, do, and have a life that's worth living? All right? At the end of the day, you're not going to go to the grave with those Ferraris. You're not going to go to the grave with, um, you know, those uh, houses, those mansions, those cars in your backyard. You all right? You are going to go back to the grave by yourself. Have you ever seen a, you, a, a, a hearse pulling a U-Haul? No. What you're going to enjoy in life is what you have imparted onto other people. All right? What you have done for other people is what is going to be remembered about your life. They're never going to write on your grave um, or on your tombstone. Here lies a man who had 55 cars. Here lies a man who traveled a lot. Here lies a man who had a yacht. No. They say there was a husband, a father, a brother because of the humanity of which we are. So all of this that we're chasing is smoke and mirrors. And don't let that chase, you know, um, you know um, carry you away from doing what's important. Okay? At the end of the day, we're stuck in a conundrum where we're chasing things that don't even belong to us. We're chasing things that are not even meant for us. And then eventually we suffer from depression or we suffer from, um, you know, uh, or I can't do it or we're just stuck in, 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 in a rut. There's a lot of things that you can do with your time so that you actually do have a good story to tell. And all that story, what that will do it will, is it will help you get really close to the people that you're supposed to be creating for and demanding money off of. All right. It's that simple, guys. You don't have to keep chasing all these waterfalls or whatever shiny objects that are coming your way. You really got to lock down yourself and figure out what have I done? Who have I helped and who needs me? That's all you got to worry about. And Charlie says, once you have knowledge, um, when you need action, knowledge without action is wasted knowledge. Exactly. That's why I talk about leaving, learning, and contributing. Right now, every single day, I freeze time. All right? Every 30 minutes that I sit down here, I'm giving off of my time. All right? But guess what I do with that time? I get to keep it. I get to keep it. It's stored in, you know, in, in the archives of history, all right, on, inter on, on, on Facebook or on YouTube or whatever it is. It's time that I've given away that I get to keep. Now, can you imagine how many, how much time you are keeping to yourself that you're not giving off of yourself that is all wasted? The more you help other people, the more you pu put yourself out there, the more you, 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 you share your gifts and talents, you will help somebody else be, do, and have a life that's worth living. And guess what? People dig that stuff. And when they do dig that stuff, they pay a premium. And that's how people get rich. All right? If you're going to just sit there and think your funnels, your website, or whatever it is, and you're not giving yourself off of yourself or trying to make somebody else's life better, then you're wasting your time, all right? At the end of the day, there's a few things that you can learn, that you can implement and that you can do so that you too can actually have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. One of the things that I did was travel, all right? Travel everywhere that you can. Find out what other cultures are like. Find out how other people outside of your postcode actually live. You know, my biggest outlay is in the traveling that I do. I can speak five different languages and I can create and relate for people in, in certain, you know, time zones and in certain um, d demographies. You know why? Because they have had a personal experience with me. It, it is eventually my, my goal to visit, you know, every other country, but I've got to make the money first. All right. Every single country has its people. They have something amazing to offer. Can you type in the comments, have you ever left your country? What country have you gone to that has left a lasting, you know, a memory of the things that you did there? We remember a lot more of the experiences that we have done instead of the things that we purchase off of ourselves. 
all right? If I really, really look at it, all my tailored suits, if I really want to calculate how much one costs, that's probably an airline ticket to Zimbabwe where I can go there and make other people smile instead of me just wearing this and, and not getting anything out of it. Do you know what I mean? All right, some people have gone to South Korea, Switzerland and stuff like that. Like I say, my goal is to take my little girl around. And if you know, at the beginning of the year, I took my little girl around Australia and my wife. 13,131 kilometers we traveled. All right, every country has something to offer. You get to learn a few things about what other people do, how they exist, so that when you start selling to them, you know a thing or two about their culture. And you create rapport, it makes it a whole lot easier. People like doing business with those that they know, like and trust. Those that have traveled. Have you ever noticed that if you meet somebody from Australia or somebody from the US, you automatically connect. Now can you imagine if you have customers that are coming from all those places, you are literally treated as one of them. All right, and now you've got stories to tell and experiences that you can share with your people and, you know, things that they can avoid or you can, you can have the information that they're looking for. People are coming to the internet to get information. Now, if you're the brand that's providing that information, they get to know you, they get to trust you, they get to like you. Now, imagine if you're connecting with your customers on a level of, hey, do you know that thing in Melbourne? I went there and it was amazing. Today, Angela, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in, by the way. All right. So you've got so much that you can learn from people and other societies and how they actually function. Some, some, some societies have certain ways of running things. Maybe, maybe where you are is not where, where you are meant to be. All right. Can you imagine me being in Africa right now without all the resources? Would I have flourished? I don't think so. So maybe you are stopping yourself from actually growing because you are stunting your growth by staying in one place. You are not a tree. You don't have roots. So I've taken a lot of lessons from the places I've been and now I know where I can actually function or where I can actually set up a business and have it to be profitable and enjoyable. Maybe you are failing in business right now because you are stuck in where you are and where you are your environment is not helpful. You might be asking yourself, oh, I don't know how to get out of this place. The bus leaves every single day. Flights leave every single day. How can you not know how to leave? Yeah, see, so I've taken a lot of those lessons back with me and I've incorporated them into my business. Right now, I can sit down and sprack and see with somebody who, who is from Germany. Ich heiße Prosper. Und, und ich, ich mache... Sprechen Sie, um, oh, yeah, it's a little bit too much for me to say, but I can, I can say a couple of words in German. And can you imagine how that connects me to somebody who's of German descent? Huh? Nothing has taught me a lot more than what traveling has. So stop thinking outside. You should start thinking outside your 24 hour box. That's where your customers are. Figure out how you can connect. All right, right now, all the people that are failing in business is because they are chasing money. Money can make you happy, but it does buy you time and these experiences that we're talking about. Find your why. Find who you're actually serving right now in your business. Find out who really needs what you have. Find out who really needs your products. Find out who really has the frustrations that your product or your service can actually serve. You know? If you're just going into business for money and, and money's sake, you're just not going to be motivated by that at all. Yeah, but it then I know money buys you time and, and stuff like that. But figure out what are you actually doing and who really cares about what you're doing. If you're in it for the money, take a step back a little bit. All right. If you're in it for the money to buy experiences so that you can share on social media, maybe that's OK. But if you're not using that money to actually help you move forward in life, you'll never be motivated. All right. Even when times are tough, some people seem to be going well. Can you tell me ever since you started watching my video, do you think every single day I've had I've had no dramas? I've had no problems in my life. Winter started. 
I think some of you guys would know. Our heater broke down for two days. There was no heating system in here. But I showed up and I was like, welcome everybody to the online prosperity show. You know why? Because I knew somebody needed to hear my message. If it was about the money or if it was about the money, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing every single day. So figure out what actually motivates you. How do you actually feel about what you're doing? Does it really matter? I'm an entrepreneur, all right? I'm, I'm not going to lie that everything is always rosy. My wife needs me. Do you know what I mean? My wife needs, you know, her husband. But sometimes I'm stuck in here reading and concentrating and creating. That causes problems. But do you ever see me? Because I know what my why is. I would go in there and apologize and I'd be like, honey, we are not going to have a dull future. All right, just hang in there. But some of you guys would, would, would make that, you know, take them down with you. Because your why is not strong enough. All right? Because you're maybe just motivated by money. By all means, aim to get rich. Aim to have 500 cars. But tell me if those cars are going to go down with you in, 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 in to your grave. Put it all in perspective. Ask yourself this question. Why do you actually really want to get rich? Is it, is it because it will make you feel good? All right. At the end of the day, it's a Monday today. And the reason why a lot of us are failing is because we are not doing enough for our businesses. We're not, we're not traveling enough. We're not learning enough to other cultures and figuring out how else can you actually win in this entrepreneurial life. I told you I travel. Do that sometime. Figure out what other people in other areas are doing and what is actually working. Because where you are right now is, 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 is temporary. I traveled. I came over from Zimbabwe. If you saw my post a little bit earlier, I came over from Zimbabwe with nothing but a backpack full of hopes and dreams. But look at this. Look at where we are now. Yeah? Our problems that we might be having, maybe if you just leave where you are, you would be surprised that there's more out there for you. Yeah? Do you know what I mean? I, I, this whole digital marketing thing, it opens up your, your, your world, you know? It, it opens up your world. I came here with, with nothing but a backpack full of hopes and dreams. And when I got here, I was all alone. Now I've got people like you guys, thank you so much. You know, because I went out of my comfort zone. Had I stay, stayed in Zimbabwe, I'll probably be stuck on a zebra right now with the bone sticking out my nose and all those funny ear, earrings. And one of those funny things that I'll just be jumping around as if, as if that's what life is meant to be. David Moore, thank you so much for tuning in, buddy. All right. I had nothing. I had no friends. All the jobs that I was doing, they were, they were all amounting to nothing. I used to clean pans in a restaurant. That's how I started in Australia six years ago, 2011. They used to call me the kitchen and Rasta kitchen. You know, everywhere I tried to join, nobody wanted a bar of it because I had nothing to offer. I had no stories to tell. Well, I did, but you know, they didn't want to hear them. But now guess who's, yeah, guess who's doing it, living it and enjoying life. Do you know what I mean? We're living in an era like no other. All right? We're living in an era like no other. It's easy to complain that, you know, the, the markets are crowded and the effects of globalization, um, you know, um, you know are, are, are stamping your growth. But have you told your story? Who has heard it? And, and then they look to the side and say that wasn't important. Because you haven't. All right? But when you stop to think, we now have all this equipment. The phone that you're watching this video on right now is much more powerful than the equipment they used to go to the moon. That's if they went. <laughs> That's if there was a moon landing, by the way. Yeah, but then the equipment that you're using right now is much more powerful than what Oprah used when she started her business. Look at this. We're sitting here for 30 minutes. 
I could just be saying nothing, but everyone is listening and we're all, you know, creating and relating to each other. What is stopping you? Because if you're not learning and if you're not living and you're not contributing, then you're selfish. Are you that selfish? You've got lessons stuck inside of you, movies inside of you, books inside of you, all of that stuff. I really want you to win, guys. I really, really want that whatever you touch turns into gold. I want that every person that I'm around has a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Go out there and really get what's coming to you because you know what? You deserve it. We're living at a time when everything is just so amazing. The opportunities that we have, they never existed in the world. Um, you know, you know, you know, they never existed in the world before this. You know, now we have an online world, a world that never existed for our grandfathers, for our grandmothers. They did not even know how to Google, but they still built these countries. They still built the roads. They still traveled. All right, this additional world that we have is creating new money making ventures. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes when I'm stressed, I just think of what my granddad would have been going through right now with a spear trying to kill a lion. I don't even know where beggars are farmed or if they are farmed or whatever it is. I just go and grab one. Apparently, they're better at hungry jacks. All right. So sometimes when I'm stressed, I really think of the advantages that my parents or my grandparents didn't have. But they still brought us up. They still built this country on their bare backs. It really encourages me to go back to work. So when you travel a little bit, you know, and then you share your experiences and you share your opportunities with other people, you get to share and exchange ideas. And that will always constantly keep you motivated. All right? At the end of the day, you know, I, I just hope you guys are also going to start dreaming big and being ambitious and really wanting more out of your lives, guys. It's so amazing, you know, looking at what you've created and the, and, 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 and the fellowship and the people that are actually benefiting from it. That's a very good feeling. And I'm sort of getting addicted to it. And I'll wish that for you too. You can be, do and have a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable if you actually just allow yourself to do that. I always encourage my students to aim big. Think bigger than yourself. I was that African kid that you probably see, you know, give us a dollar a day. But no, I chose not to, to, to leave from, you know, you know, being offered head to mouth. I wanted to create. Do you know what I mean? Dreaming big is what I've always done and I encourage everybody else to do. You know, the mainstream is so full of unsuccessful people. Don't pay attention to them. They're not you. They're, where they are is, is not where you want to be. There's nothing you can't accomplish if you're willing to put in the work. And I lifted my hand a long time ago and I said I was here to help you. For me, it's not about the money anymore. We, we did this already. We've got systems that can take us through up until our retirement. I want you to win. All right? And when you find what you love, when you're doing what you absolutely love doing, guys, you know, you can fail at something that you absolutely hate and you'll be miserable at it. Why don't you fail at something that you actually love and you'll still be happy enough to look back and jump on that horse and say, you know what, this is my thing. All right. During all the tough times, guys, you know, that's what has kept me going because I absolutely love what I'm doing. Can, can you tell? <laughs> can, you, can you actually tell I can just go into a fit of laughing and you might, I might just be cold in and then I'll be wearing one of those suits where I can't feel my, my fingers, you know? 
It sounds like something out of a Disney movie, but passion is really what you need in your life. I really wish that upon you. All right? Where you are is temporary. Move. You don't have roots. You're not a tree. The bus is leaving every second. The plane is flying out every single second. Catch one of those on a one-way ticket somewhere and learn something. Above all, go out there and build your dream and not anybody else's dream. I've, <laughs> in my troubles and in my entire life, I've met a lot of successful people, guys. And I've also met, you know, plenty of successful people who are utterly miserable. I'm not saying that this is the way to do it, but just do something that actually lights you up. Do you know what I mean? Yes, you know, those people might have achieved, you know, what they might consider as success, but who is taking score? I want you. I want you to win. Can you type in the comments there that I want to win? Can you, can you just make a commitment right now, even if you, you just want to be amongst this energy right now, just type in, I want to win. All right? What you've achieved right now, you know, what you've done, you must consider it as a success. Being in front of this energy, being in front of people that are willing to help you. Do you know what I mean? But you've got to want it. You have to want it. Stop chasing other people's dreams, all right? It's, it's not yours. Nicole, thank you so much for tuning in and it was amazing talking to you earlier on. All right, maybe look at what you're doing right now. Is it what you really want to do? Is it meaningful? Or were you just pushed into doing it? Or maybe society just wants you to do it. The point is, if you're not doing what you want, then whose dreams are you leaving? And that's the reason why you're not motivated. All right, build your own dreams and not anybody else's dreams. I'm more than happy to help you figure it all out. I'm more than happy to help you figure out who exactly needs what you're doing and how you can reach out to them in a meaningful way so that your business is profitable and enjoyable. I hope this video was for you and you took note of what we just spoke about today. In the meantime, I really want you to win. And if you've got any questions about today's video, send me a message. I want you to win. All right? This is the start of a fantastic week. Let's go in, all in. Yeah? With guns blazing. Not exactly in those words. I don't condone guns. But at the end of the day, guys, this has been Prosper, and I am so excited. We shared this moment together. We did this, and now it's your turn. Let me know how I can be of help. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. Ray Rank!